So welcome to Cross Out everybody. Uh, this episode is going to be a tutorial-ish episode for completely beginners of the game. I'm going to let you know how I was able to get from 0 to 5677 coins without buying any packages. Uh, what you're going to hear is just my experience, uh, my opinion, what I did uh, to be able to get that kind of coin amount on my account uh, in one day, actually one and a half day of playing. Uh, so from 0 to 5600 coins and uh, to level 13. So I'm going to let you know what kind of builds I did to be able to get where I am at the moment uh, fairly quickly. Anyways, this car right here is going to be your first car, starter car. Uh, what you have, you have only one light machine gun, but don't you worry, you're going to be able to progress really, really quickly. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to play some missions. Uh, click the battle button and you can see four different missions. Uh, at first you're going to be able to play this mission, uh, get the machine gun mission. Uh, do this mission as long as you have at least four light machine guns for the future. And now guys, actually the most important thing, do it as soon as possible. Whenever you're going to be able to get fuel barrel, make some room on your vehicle and put that fuel barrel on your vehicle. Uh, fuel is really expensive and is key to high credits uh, from the get-go. This is going to help you out a lot. Trust me guys, this is going to help you out a lot. Every single time you're going to win one battle where you did something, you did some damage, you got some kills, you're able to get 25 fuel and fuel is expensive. You want to sell it. You would like to use Pickup Cabin because Pickup Cabin is going to give you 8 energy points and thanks to that you're able to put 4 light machine guns on the vehicle. Every single machine gun is going to drain 2 energy. Uh, slowly but steadily completing that get to machine gun mission I was able to uh, get machine guns and slowly but steadily I upgraded my vehicle. After getting my third machine gun I did add my third machine gun on my vehicle with setup like this so guns are not going to block each other. Uh, let's say I would like to shoot on the right side, uh, when they are side by side, one gun is going to block another's view and it is not going to work, but with setup like this you're able to use every single gun. When shooting like this for example, and you can see how fast I'm able to work down enemy guns and wheels. And by the way guys, shooting enemy wheels or guns is the most important thing. At first you knock out guns and after that you're able to work them down slowly but steadily and uh, they are not going to be able to kill you. Uh, but leveling up, getting some new parts, uh, wheels, new armor, I upgraded my vehicle and I decided to go with setup like this over here because uh, it, it gets me ready for 76mm boomstick for stability. And it is just troll man, like just troll as well. It gives you armor, it gives you HP, some HP, and after receiving my uh, fourth and the final light machine gun, you're going to need some armor as well. Actually, you can upgrade your armor whenever you want to do that. At the moment, I'm just showing you how I placed my machine guns one by one, but uh, as soon as you get some extra armor, you can put it on your vehicle if you have enough room. Every single time you level up, you're going to get some extra stuff and uh, you can use it, uh, put it into use. Uh, armor up your vehicle. It is going to give you more hit points and it is going to protect your hull. It is important to protect your hull. And after that, you are you are able to paint as well. So bright green is always nice or neon green or whatever it is. And uh, <laughs> yeah, pink guns, which is awesome. Anyways, this build right here was my starter build. And guys, as soon as you get fuel barrel, once again, put it on your vehicle. It is going to give you a lot of coins if you're going to sell the fuel. But I think this build over here is going to work out for you as well as it did for me. As you can see, I'm able to destroy enemy tires and guns and extra armor fairly quickly and I'm able to destroy entire enemy vehicle fairly easily with my four machine guns. Now the next thing that I did and what I recommend you to do is get 76mm cannon or 76mm boomstick as I like to call it. Uh, this is going to make all the difference. Uh, I am pretty much going to build my entire vehicle around it. Uh, it is just amazing, you are able to hit super hard, thanks to that you are able to kill enemy targets quickly and you are able to deal a lot of damage and so on. It is just awesome. So this is where you can get the mission, get your 76mm boomstick and start building your car around it. 
or as I told you before, we already started doing that because 76 millimeter has really epic kick and uh, you need to balance it somehow. And this build over here is going to balance the kick, it's going to be stable. You can shoot on the move, you can stop and shoot. You do not lose a lot of your aim, so yeah, this is what I decided to do. You can build whatever you want, but this is how I decided to solve that kick problem. And this build right here was my first build for 76mm gun, which actually worked out pretty good. After hitting level 6 you're able to get some blade action as well, so I'm going to use some blade action in the front of the vehicle, I'm able to ram enemy vehicles and I'm able to knock out tires easily. And uh, this build is actually pretty stable as well for 76mm gun. I am using one light machine gun, but you have two options. You can use either one light machine gun or you can use um, uh, one shotgun as well that you're going to be able to get from the second mission, I believe. Get the shotgun mission. So you have two options. 76mm gun and one shotgun or one light machine gun. Uh, now, when shotgun is going to drain free energy, you're not going to be able to carry anything else. But if you decide to pick a uh, light machine gun, then you're going to be able to pick a weapon radiator, either weapon radiator or car jack or radar as well, that are going to help you out. Uh, weapon radiator is pretty much going to give you some extra firepower. I decided to use light machine gun because uh, light machine gun is more accurate. And I'm able to shoot off enemy armor more accurately. Uh, so this was my first build. Uh, but my final build after getting some extra armor parts, uh, my final 176mm boomstick build uh, looks like this. I added some extra armor, I moved my fenders from the back into the front just to protect my tires even more. And I added some uh, half barrels, so yeah, just some extra gun protection, some extra hull protection and some extra protection. This uh, rear of the vehicle is still just for the balance and actually for steering as well. Uh, this vehicle turns like a charm in my opinion. Uh, so you can change out those steering wheels to the medium steering wheels of course uh, when you can do that. But this vehicle over here worked out really good for me and I believe it is going to work out for you as well. After hitting level 7, you're going to be able to play Get to Wheels mission. And this is where I was able to make a lot of coins. Uh, selling my fuel, selling my extra wheels and uh, cabins and making uh, scrap metal out of it and selling scrap metal uh, through that uh, is going to make you a lot of credit. From here you're able to get your medium wheels, you're going to be able to get some random stuff as well, which is awesome depending on how good you're doing in the battle. Uh, this is how much stuff you get. And uh, this is where I was able to make my coins, selling fuel, selling extra parts and uh, selling scrap metal sometimes. But scrap metal actually, at first, I think you should actually keep it, you do not need that money uh, that badly. Uh, so I did my mission over and over again, I uh, was able to get a lot of experience, uh, I was actually, I think I was using Volkswagen T1 cabin as well. It gives you exactly the same amount of energy and it is going to give you some extra structure, but at the same time it is heavier, it is higher profiled and uh, I don't know, you can use whatever you want. I believe at one point I was using Volkswagen T cabin, uh, but uh, pickup cabin is still working out fine because it is lower profiled and uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I used a pickup cabin, I used Volkswagen T cabin, I used both. But uh, this uh, build over here is just uh, to get you ready for some PvE action, because in PvE, guys, you're able to get stuff like copper, and you need your copper for something like, let me show you for what you need your copper for minivan cabin. Now this is where the fun starts, because you can see minivan cabin gives you 10 points of energy. That means you're able to carry two 76mm boomsticks. If you're going to be able to carry two 76mm boomsticks, uh, you are going to be able to do something like this. So this is minivan cabin. At the moment, yeah, you're not going to be able to do this. Uh, you have to level up to be able to uh, put on that many parts on your vehicle, but um, uh, you're able to do something like this and double 76 mm boomstick build is actually really popular at the moment uh, for a reason. It is going to make you a lot of uh, credits and is going to give you a lot of experience. This build right here is actually my main build at the moment that I'm using in PvP battles. Uh, you're going to be able to deal a lot of damage. Let me just show you that. We zoom in and boom. 970. And uh, after this shot, goodbye me. 
this is crazy this is crazy what kind of firepower this is now if you're going to use double 76 millimeter setup like this uh, you are going to be golden you're going to be golden just stay back snipe do not be too aggressive because you cannot be too aggressive you can ram yes uh, if you're going to be able to get parts uh, that i have in front of my vehicle you are going to be able to ram you're going to be able to deal damage so with ramming this worked for me and i cannot see any reason why it shouldn't work for you as well and now let's jump into some pvp battles as well with this beast over here let's get some wheels and let's get some uh, fuel and we are in the battle now guys, uh, getting coins in PvP is actually only one way to do it. Uh, another really good way to do it is to play PvE, is to grind copper and you have to sell copper because copper is actually pretty damn expensive. Uh, but to, to be able to play PvE you need fuel and if you're not going to play PvP you have to buy fuel. And this is how I'm making credits selling fuel because people are buying fuel. Uh, but uh, in my opinion playing pve is just boring uh, pvp is 10 times more interesting like every single game is different every single game is fun and uh, this is what i like about the game to see crazy creations from other players double 88 in the face 700 damage done easy nice and say goodbye to your gun <laughs> cannot uh, so yeah, but uh, the biggest downside playing PvP or grinding uh, gro coins in PvE instead of PvE is that in PvP you're going to lose more, um, 10 times more battles than you're going to do in PvE. And every single time you lose one battle, you lose one durability point. Let's say your gun has 20 durability points, you're going to lose 20 battles, you have to get yourself a new gun. If you're, if you're using blue guns or purple guns, this can be pretty expensive, but uh, at first grinding 76, with 76mm white guns, it is not going to be that expensive. And the easy solution for losing is uh, win. Try to win. Do stuff like this. <laughs> Goodbye, man. We have something over there. Oh my god, he just hit me and I missed my shot. I'm going to wait. Once again, I didn't. Fuck, come on. Now I'm going to wait. He's reloading and pull. Sadly, I didn't knock out guns. But he's not knocking out my guns as well. All we have to do, we have to destroy enemy targets fast. Yet another kill, third kill. And assist. And what we have over here is Rusty Heart. Oh, this guy has something big. Double 76 millimeter most likely. Come on. Reveal yourself. We have missile action. I'm out of the position. I'm heavily out of the position. Hopefully he's going to be able to kill him. Yes, he was able to do that. And let me see what I received from this battle. So... Three wheels, which is awesome, and 25 fuel. Once again, I'm going to do some sniping. We have so many good sniping positions on this map, actually. And a lot of players are playing. Not too many bots, which is awesome. Alright. Now I have two options. I can snipe either from here. Or I can move on, but I can see Peter, so why the hell not? Let's start aiming and... Oh, that was close, that was close, guys. You have to admit it, that was pretty close. Oh, goodbye to wheels. And... Oh, destroyed first blood once again. So let's move on. Now the biggest downside using double 88 uh, is your ammunition loadout. Uh, you only have 10 shots, but my next big upgrade, my next craft uh, is going to be ammo crate. Uh, this is going to give me extra ammunition. At first 30% I believe, so 3 extra shots, uh, which is awesome. I, more than I need. 700 damage. Hello, Peter. Oh my god, what the fuck do you have in front of your vehicle? It doesn't matter. Say goodbye to your life. Seems like we are going to be captured. Yes, we are going to be captured. So, let me go back. Oh, he stopped to gap for some reason. Oh, we have some guy in the base already. 
Yeah, we already had someone over here. So we are Gucci. We are Gucci. Uh, three players and one AI still alive. One player is going for our guy, ramming. I believe this guy has ramming build. According to the speed and action. What happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Boom. Nice. Hopefully knocked out something. Nope. Let's kill this guy. Goodbye. I was waiting for the other dude to stop shooting me. So I'm actually going to be able to aim at stuff. Now 50 seconds. We need to get some gap. Otherwise we are going to lose. The fuck is this guy? Over here? Oh. Okay. Reload and pull. Oh my god, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. But I only have two more shots. And it uh, seems like we are going to lose this game. Unless other dude is going to carry. I have only one more shot left. I have to make it count. Fuck, and I missed. God damn it, man. God damn it. Yeah, sometimes it happens. You know. 10 more seconds. Sadly going to lose the battle and uh, going to lose some durability, but oh well. Yeah, goodbye. I went down fighting. I tried to do some extra damage. But I should get something. Yeah, 26 scrap metal and 1890 experience is not too bad. Let's go back to the garage. And yes, I leveled up level 4 with Nomad Faction. Awesome. Thank you for that. But guys, I believe this is it for today's episode. And yes, I know I have to give away 6 closed beta desk keys as well. And I'm going to do that now. So winners are on the screen right now. YouTube usernames, 6 YouTube usernames are on the screen right now. If you see your name on the screen, what I need you to do is go to my account, uh, click about button and send me message. Uh, because of the stupid YouTube messaging system, uh, I cannot send messages to you anymore for some reason. So if you're going to do that, you're going to be able to receive your price. YouTube.com slash messages, I believe, is your message box. Uh, so yeah, sorry, but I don't know why YouTube did that stupid change. I was able to send messages like one year ago, but not anymore. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see something like this in the future as well. Tutorial-ish episodes. I was thinking about making one guide uh, for the market as well, but we'll see. I hope you enjoyed, thumbs up if you did, or lick this uh, like button, and I get you next time.